Today on the channel, Adventurous Ones, we got our next unboxing and review, and it's another one from the new Attorney line, Deluxe Figure Wave. This one is Clawful. Welcome to the Toy Review. It's time to get started. Welcome back, Adventurous Ones, for another unboxing and review. I'm your host, as always, the Adventurous One himself, Joseph Michaels. And I gotta tell you right now, this these suckers, you know, they're selling for around 35 bucks. Some are, some are around $39.99. It depends on where you get them from. Well, I gotta tell you right now, a lot of times, they ain't worth that price. Especially if they're calling, you know, they call it deluxe because, hey, look at this, I got extra packing, extra stuff packed in and everything. But guess what? A lot of times these deluxe figures are not worth the price they're being sold for. That's why I wait for the clearance stuff. And when you wait on clearance stuff, you get the better deal. Anyways, it's Masterverse, new attorney version of Clawful. Here's his artwork on the side. And once again, artwork on the back, displaying the four figures we've already reviewed from the Merman Wave. And it states, Clawful, warrior with a grip of evil. This, the nightmarish legends of Clawful are well known among the seafaring adventures of New Eternia. Adventurers, excuse me, <laughs> of New Eternia. The king of the Claw people can shipwreck an entire vessel with a single snap. He has been rumored to pillage the wreckage and drag seafarers to the deepest, darkest waters. Captains change course at the mere mention of his name, but they are only rumors, aren't they? <laughs> I love that part at the end, but they're only rumors. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this guy out of the box. As you can see, as, nor as usual, nothing else in the box. So once that's done, the box goes bye-bye. Now the deluxe uh, basics of all of this is that he's got, I'm guessing this is supposed to be some kind of armor piece, a shield, an armband thing, another chest piece, and his normal weapon. That's pretty much the same weapon as Buzz Off has. Okay, well, let's take these things out little bits at a time and get started. There we go. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely some kind of an armor piece for his back or chest, I think. Because this slides over the head. And I think this goes on his front or back. It looks more like a back piece kind of thing. I don't know. We'll find out when we get it going here. All right. He also has the other chest piece, which comes with a translucent like jewel in the middle of it. Okay, he has his shield, which, to be honest, I've never seen Clawful really use a shield. He was always using just his claws. And some kind of armband. normal weapon and that's it there ain't nothing left in the package so let's get rid of that and start taking a look at Clawful well hopefully he's a little better than the last figure his arm maneuverability goes straight down, that's good. 
Elbow joint goes up about that far. Arm maneuverability, he can turn all the way around. Okay. And up all the way around. Pretty good, pretty good. Head goes to 360. They can look up about that far. Look down about that far. Waist maneuverability. Let's see how that goes here. Pretty good. Torso turns pretty good and stuff. Let's see about that leg joint. He's got mm, double knee. Okay, hang on. He's got that nub. Mm, let's get that right there. Now, a lot of times you got to be careful with these mm, because they don't bend right. You got to sometimes give them a little push. There you go. It can go up about that far. All right. Now, it looks like the armband piece fits on him on his left arm. Push it through here. Which again, I don't remember Clawful having any armband piece and stuff on him either. But then again, this is not normal Clawful. This is New Eternia Clawful. The large claw piece can go up and down like that. Pretty good. His standing capabilities. He stands a lot better than uh, Buzzhoff was standing with those feet. And speaking of those feet, how far can they go? Well, right there is about as far front as it's going to get. And that's about how far back it goes. So, okay. Feet maneuverability, like I said, a little better than what Buzz Offs was. We've seen how Buzz Offs went, and he wasn't standing pretty good. Mostly probably because of his wings. Anyways, there he is, standing up. Alright, now, we're going to find out what this piece is for, because i got a feeling it's for his backside. But it could also be for his front. Because it looks like a, it fits over his head. Alright, let's take his head off real quick. There we go. It looks like, yeah, that's what I thought. It goes on his backside, just like that. Okay. That's not bad. Kind of cool looking. All right, let's put his put his head back on now. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks even more bad rear, <laughs> badass. I'll just say it, badass. He looks even more badass. All right, let's put his weapon in his hand. Which again, I don't know. Uh, I've never really seen him use a weapon because he he was in the cartoon, the older cartoon and stuff like that. But again, I've never really seen him use a weapon. Now this is an interesting piece. It looks like that's where the weapon can hold. You can the weapon can be attached to hold on to. You know. He also has his. That's another strap piece if you want to put that on him and stuff. He also has his shield, which basically is the same as He-Man's and Skeletor, the one Skeletor had, and other few figures had as well. Now he doesn't come with any other accessories than what he's got, okay? 
So was it worth 35 bucks? Actually, no. So I waited, went, like I did with Whiplash, I waited until he went on clearance and got him for only around $12. Same thing with uh, Ram Man, who's also in this wave with him and uh, Whiplash. They're not worth the price they're being sold for. I mean, you, call, you can't call it really a deluxe figure if it's got hardly any other accessories with it, other than these. I mean, this, it's really not deluxe enough. I mean, it, this could have been just packaged normally and uh, like the $21.99 figures and stuff. It's not really anything new. Nothing big, nothing exciting. I mean, it's neat that he's got this piece, but at the same time, he's also got this piece that he can use as a chess piece and stuff, and it attaches weapon to the back and stuff. But at the same time, this is not worth thirty-five bucks. Now, as we always do with our figure comparison stuff. Here he is with Whiplash, and again, stand, Whiplash stands taller than everyone, of course, because he, you know, bigger. But at the same time, again, this is a figure that's not worth thirty-five bucks. Mattel's, Mattel, Hasbro, just about everyone that says, "Hey, this one's a deluxe," and, it, and you know, "Hey, it's exclusive here or there or whatever." Okay, it's not worth 35 bucks it's not deluxe enough if it was deluxe enough they could have gave him like a some kind of other accessory or something that you know or other accessories you know that like a, a crushed blaster or something you know something that made it a little more enticing but I still like the figure even though the price is not worth it, okay? This could have been sold as a $21.99 figure, and these little things still could have been included. It would have made it a lot more sense than what they they were selling it for. So, what are your thoughts on this one, Adventurous Ones? Worth the price of $35 or not? Was it worth waiting on? Yes, it was. But... That's also got to be your opinion on it. Was it worth waiting on? Did you get it first hand? First time you saw it? Or did you wait for the clearance time to happen at wherever you found it? Like Target and stuff. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on all of our upcoming reviews. We got a ton more on the way in 2024. And... We've got the 500 subscriber giveaway announcement video already up and running. If you want to see it you need, and be a part of the giveaway, got to watch that video. So until the next unboxing, till the next review, peace out. May the force be with all of you. And every last one of y'all have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves. Stay warm if you're still stuck in the cold. And God bless. Till then, my adventurous ones. Later.